Ooh, a do-it-yourself spiderweb craft with yarn for Halloween uses a frame to weave a spooky web. It's an easy craft decoration for anyone who's not afraid of spiders, that is. Always put some paper down so that you can paint on top of that paper and not hurt your work surface. Let's get started by painting our frame black. If you have a black frame, that's great. Pick one up at a thrift store and you won't need the glass for this. I like using a paper plate for my paint palette. I'm going to use some black paint and cover the entire frame. I'm going to set my plate and brush aside because we're going to need it again to make our spider in a bit. Got to let this dry before we do our next step. Once the frame is dry, we're going to tie yarns that go across the frame from side to side. And I'm going to tie them on either side and then I'm going to have them cross in a certain spot in the middle. So I'm going to tie and tie on both ends. I'm going to try to hide the knots on the back of the frame if I can. So maybe I'll just turn it over and work on the back is what I'll do. I'll do several more. When I tie a knot, I just pull it around, go over and under, and over and under again, and pull it tight, and clip the thread. So see how I'm trying to get them to cross in a certain spot there. So now I have about eight of these different yarns crossing in the center, and now I'm going to weave around. So I'm going to take a piece of yarn off of the ball so that I can get it around through these little pieces of yarn here. That looks good. It's all crossed here in the center. I'm going to use a piece of the white yarn now to tie this center little area. Okay, so I'm going to weave around in a circle here. So every once in a while I'm going to just tie it to the string. Okay, and then I'm going to start again, go over and under. So you're actually getting a little weaving here. Now, we're going to just increase the distance from the center and we're going to tie it several times to these different strings to keep it in place. And then I'm going to keep weaving. This one goes over, so I'm going to go under this one over under pattern and then every couple strands I'm going to tie it to the yarn so it stays in place. might start tying it more often because I want it to kind of look like it's going boom 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 not just round and round. So I'm going to tie it every couple of yarns. And I think I'm going to tie every other string. This is not hard but I do have to get this pulled kind of tightly before I pull the loop up. Pull it a little tighter so it looks like spider webby. As I'm going out from the center, I get a little wider each time that I make my circle out. Can't believe I didn't think to put something underneath here sooner. Sorry about that. You can see a lot better. I like tying this every other yarn because it kind of um, makes it look more angled instead of just round. If I would just keep weaving without tying the knots, it would just look round. This looks a little more realistic. Now that I'm at the outside, I'm going to tie a knot on each string. I'm going to tie this off on the back and then clip the end of my yarn. So we'll set this to the side and we're going to make a spider. To make our spider, we're going to use a small styrofoam ball. It's about an inch and a quarter in diameter, maybe an inch and a half. And we're going to paint it black to be a spider. So I'm going to use this long corsage pin. You could use a toothpick. And I'm going to put it into the ball so I can hold it and paint it on all sides. Got a feeling it's going to be hard to get the paint into those little crevices. So I'm going to let this dry and then we'll finish making it into a spider. So I took my two pipe cleaners and I cut them in half. And then I cut them in half again and then I bent each leg into a little L shape. And we're going to stick those into the side of our spider. Putting four on each side. And there he is. So I'm going to go ahead and take this pin out of the bottom there. Set him down. Woo! I'm going to go, <laughs> oh look at this. He even kind of jiggles like that. Oh! We're going to glue these two googly eyes on the front of him here and he'll be done. Ooh, I like him. 
we're going to finish up our do-it-yourself spiderweb craft with yarn for Halloween by adding our spider onto the web. And I'm going to just slip him on here and then bend a couple of the back legs, hold them in place, and then when it's set against the wall, it'll kind of push him forward a little bit like that. Like he's coming forward on the web. And this will hang on a wall and be a great decoration for Halloween. If you don't want to make a spider yourself, you could also purchase one from the store and just add it onto your spider web. That would work great too. Ooh, a do-it-yourself spider web craft with yarn for Halloween uses this frame to weave a spooky web and then add our spider friend. For more Halloween crafts, come on over to welcomedanannas.com and join the fun.